what up guys um, my name is Andrea Podaka if you're new to the channel uh, all we do is post about my truck some roofing stuff and that's pretty much about it there may be some fishing videos on here eventually when summer comes around and uh, we can go to the beach and catch some fish I'll get a chest strap put it on there and record for you guys but other than that we pretty much just post truck car and roofing content um but yeah so today in this video uh i got a new exhaust on my truck about three weeks ago i've had a chance to kind of figure out the likes and dislikes i have of it um truck there's very many likes and probably zero to one dislike and that's about it but other than that i'm gonna kind of put the gopro in the back of the truck uh, so you guys can hear it on the outside when I take off uh, of it idling when I start it up and all that cool stuff in case any of you out there want to get a exhaust for your Ford Raptor um, but yeah this is a 3.5 liter v6 Raptor it's a 2020 um, I bought it about a year and a half ago I bought it used with 20,000 miles on it I now have 67,760 miles on this bad girl. Uh, she was used as my daily for roofing. Um, I did do roofing for a while, um, and then I got diagnosed with cancer, so that kind of stopped everything. And ever since then, I haven't been able to work. Now I'm kind of like office aid, scheduling, and all that sort of stuff. So all people that have tuned into my channel for the roofing content, thank you for sticking around. Uh, hopefully within the next three four months i'll be able to get back to doing my roofing content all over again but it'll be different it'll be more of me selling and kind of going over the bids and all that cool stuff with you guys and starts to finish um but for right now the roofing is booming uh we're five to six months out uh we get new new contracts every day for people that want to do their roofs so you know please 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 hold on if your roof scheduled we'll get to it but yeah so let me give you a quick run around of the truck show you what type of truck i have and we'll get to this video so check it out so this is my 2024 raptor i have the method rims with the 35 inch needle ridge grappler tires uh when i did get the truck it did come with these baja design lights right here at the bottom i added this amber piece right here um it came with the KO2s, the VF Goodrich tires. I don't really like those. I like the Nittos a lot better. I went ahead and tinted the windows 5% in the back. As you can see, you can't see out of that thing. You can barely see out of it at night. Um, right here, this thing's broken. I don't know how I broke it, but it's broken. That's the camera right here. Works perfect. Comes standard with the dual exhaust and these backup sensors. Another thing is this gas tank thing right here, this is broken as well. I don't know how that happened, but with my luck, it happened. Come standard with the amber lights right here, one on the side, three of the three in the front of the hood, another one, the daytime running amber, and then of course your blinker, a cool amber orange. I just go to the back. It also comes with the red little lights because it is so wide. You need it on the truck. It was kind of weird. Some of them come with the blind spot. My truck doesn't have the blind spot. But it came with this big blinker, which is pretty cool. I like it. It's a different package, I guess. Um, I does, mine doesn't have all the bells and whistles like all the other them do. Came with the bed liner in it. Five and a half inch bed. Ford did it of course but yeah that's pretty much about it oh, and also did come with these kind of tie strap things I guess the guy before me had it and and yeah so that's cool it's crew cab so I got, got all my shit back here mask because I have to wear a mask every time I go out can't afford to get sick jackets stuff like that change your clothes case emergency it did come with these rubber mats which is cool that's pretty dope comes with these running boards with the raptor logo then got my roofing stuff right here when I used to roof 
um, Ausfeld keyless entry, which is pretty dope. Comes with the four performance logo right here, which is dope. Um, comes with these compartments on the side. I feel like this is like a fake leather type of thing. Who knows? Comes with these seats. Of course, with the Raptor logo on it. Now, it only goes front and back. I still got the lever to go up, to bring the back up and down. It does not come on that side. Um, there's no kind of pre-settings you can click here. It's just unlock button, normal windows. Um, as you can tell, no blind spot. It's got this little mirror. And you can kind of tell, you can't really see into that thing. I mean, you can see through now, but it's pitch black back there. And then, of course, you hop inside, the regular display. I do not have heating cooling seats. I just have the regular standard AC with the options. It does come with the paddle shifters like normal. Go drop a gear, add a gear, so on and so forth. Uh, it does come with the speedometer dials, it's not digital. And the new generation Gen 3 Raptors, it does come with it. it comes with the display right there. Um, it comes with the mandatory Raptor big ass shift nozzle right here, which is dope. You can shift here as well. Uh, you got your drive modes here. Uh, so say you can't hear somebody, somebody's talking to you, you can just hit this button and it turns off the sound. Your steering wheel configurations, I went over a video last time of it's normal sport and comfort. So it's either tight, loose, or kind of normal what's right in between. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Oh, here's your two, two high, four automatic, four high, four low. Um, and then you also got your drive modes, which is cool. It comes with this big compartment right here. I've kind of destroyed this part because I put my arm right here. And then back when I was roofing and stuff like that, you know, from being sweaty and all that cool stuff. Comes with this big compartment right here, which is pretty dope. It's huge. Um, cup holders here, cup holders here in the front. I really don't know what this little thing is for. I mean, I put my phone like this, or maybe a couple pens, so on and so forth. Got a little storage compartment down here. Your little compartment right here. I know there's something you could put right here for your phone, which is pretty dope. Um, also, a cool thing is it comes with the F-150 logo right here. Now let's pop the hood. She may be dirty. As you can tell, I've kind of been hitting her in the mud and stuff like that. So let's check it out. Uh, nope. So my guy that does clean my truck went ahead and did as best as he could to get this Maybe clean before it was dirty like it, it would look like this and like you can still it still is dirty but way better than it used to be and there's your Ford Performance Edging 3.5 liter V6 I kind of want to change to the K&N air filter let, let me know what you guys think but yeah that's it for the engine so what you guys all been waiting for is this exhaust oh and it has the uh remote start so we'll do go ahead and do the exhaust right here real quick I'll go ahead and put you on this scenery so you guys can hear it I gotta do a couple friends So yeah, that's kind of how it sounds when you rev it and get after it. So what I'm going to try to do is set it up somewhere. Here, I'm just going to put it on the back and hopefully it stays. So let's see. So you guys can kind of get a mix of when I'm driving.
hopefully I didn't blow the speaker out on this GoPro, but I was in sports mode. So let's go ahead and hook you guys up to right here so you can kind of hear it as it goes from the inside. Now the window is down so you guys can hear it. And that we're in sports right now. So the window is going to be rolled up, so let me know if you guys can hear it as good as you possibly can from the inside with the windows up. exhaust I put on it let me know how you guys feel about it um, I would say if I were to do the exhausting all over again I would still go back to a Richardson performance muffler where I got it done have them do it all over again the same exact way now I know the new Raptors come with the exhaust sounds where you can change it um, the Gen 3s, the V6s, and the new Raptor RV8s. Um, hopefully soon, I can go get me a Gen 3 and hopefully be able to keep the Gen 2. But, you know, if you have a Gen 3 Raptor, there's no point of keeping your Gen 2 unless, you know, I want to deck this thing out and wait till the warranty is up and kind of just beat the crap out of it. But at the end of the day, it is kind of a financial standpoint is there's no point of keeping two Raptors especially one that I've always wanted I've always wanted a Raptor in general this is my dream truck so hopefully soon enough I'll be able to get that gen 3 in white maybe a 37 package I might stick with 35s and put my own 37s on it um, so I mean yeah they upcharge you for the 37 package but then again you kind of get what you pay for. All I do is paying for bigger tires, some more clearance, and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. There's going to be more videos coming up soon.